What's up you guys? My name is Turk if you didn't know and I am back with another video and this is going to be a little different because I've been seeing a lot of things on these tea pages and I really wanted to respond to it and I know this isn't a vlog like I usually do but this is more like a sit down. I'm going to respond to some of these tea pages. A few things I would usually leave in the comment section but I don't feel like the comment section is making my voice loud enough so here we are I'm gonna do it as a video response and this is a segment I like to call wise up Wise Up is going to be a segment on my page where I just respond to some of the tea from the tea pages on YouTube of black YouTube for the most part, you know, and just give my opinions on things. Wise Up is a group that I'm working on. It's called W, so W, uh, Wise Up, um, you see the Wise Up or the W, like, you know, it, there's a lot of different ways to say Wise up, W, and woo, because W, U, because initials wise up, W, woo. You guys are going to get it. I'm going to explain another time, but I want to really get into this video. And this is about Queen Nyjah and Chris, her baby father. Queen and Chris has a son named CJ. CJ has just graduated from K2. Queen Nyjah lives in Atlanta and Chris lives in Houston. Queen Nyjah did not invite Chris to CJ's graduation, but brought Clarence to the graduation. Chris is now upset that he was not invited to the graduation, rightfully so. So there's a 50-50 split. Some people saying, Queen, you're wrong, why didn't you invite him? And then there's another half saying, Chris knows that his son is in K2. He should know when the graduation is. Look, I can tell you guys do not have kids. Let me tell you something. I don't want to say Queen is wrong because I really fuck with her and Clarence, but she's not right. This is how it works. Chris is in Houston. So that means Clarence and Queen is on the kids' contact list, you know? Just like me. Say this is a few months ago. I have custody of my daughter living at home boom me my parents and my sisters are on the list to be contacted for her school her mom is not on that list so even if her mom did call the school to figure out what's going on about graduation and grades things like that they cannot speak to her because she is not on the contact list for the school I'm assuming because Chris is in Houston he is not on the kids list to speak to the teachers from Houston when he's going to school in Atlanta that's the thing so any news coming from the school about graduations or dress down days and grades updates parent teacher conferences has to come from me I have to tell my baby mother that if not she will not know unless she speaks to her child but my daughter doesn't have a phone to do that my daughter is 12. Baby Chris is like 5. So I'm assuming he doesn't have a phone either. So yes, it was a 30 minute graduation, but that is his dad. He should have been invited. He should be able to see his son graduate if that's what he wants to do. If he didn't want to go, let that be his choice. Now I see the argument that Chris is really mean and he says some foul things to Queen and maybe she just doesn't want to talk to him it could be a text message guys it doesn't have to be a through conversation on the phone you don't have to be on the phone for 10 minutes just say hey just like an invite just the time place and boom that's it now i did see the video of clarence saying what's the teacher's name you know what's his best friend's name now you want to be so invested you know that's a given because you live with him I could ask my baby mother the same thing about my daughter and she probably would not know what her teacher's name is. She probably know what her best friend's name is, you know, but 
I don't think that's so relevant compared to him being there for his son's graduation. He only gets one graduation from K2, and I think that he should have been part of it. Now, I am not saying that Queen or Clarence is wrong. I'm just giving my opinion. I don't think it was right. I like them. I like them all a lot. From Queen, Clarence, to Chris. I think they're great people. I only know them from YouTube. I don't know anybody personally, but this is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. I do think they went about it a little wrong, and it did blow up more than it had to be. I see everything that's going on. I don't want to comment on that. I just want to give my perspective and give you guys another point of view about how things work, about how Chris probably can't just contact the teacher. I see a lot of people saying... Um, you know, he knows he's in K2. He knows he's graduating. Guys, there's K2 everywhere in the world, right? At least the U.S. These kids are not graduating at the same day at the same time. Like, he just can't figure that out just because he's in K2. Guys, be realistic. Think about it. Think about if you are a parent. If you don't have direct contact with the school or the teachers, you would have to find out from the other parent. If that other parent does not tell you, you are left in the dark about what's going on, period. So if I do not communicate with my baby mother, she does not know what's going on with my daughter's school. Alright, so I'm just giving you guys a perspective. I hope you guys respect it. I'm going to be talking about things a lot more. Again, I'm no type of guru. It's just me giving my opinion on things. And I'm giving you guys solid facts and a thorough look on my point of view. So I'm not just telling you bullshit. I want my opinion to be respected. Whether you agree or disagree, at least we can agree or dis disagree respectfully. That is my time, you guys. I know it's not as long as you probably think it is, but leave some comments, give me some feedback, and we can continue this conversation in the comment section. This is your host, Turk. This is the first episode of Wise Up. And thank you for watching. I'm out.